Flight engineers have a very deep, rich history in the Air Force and actually in aviation in general. You are continuing on this tradition of being not just an aviator, but a maintainer. And it's, it's just this amazing hybrid. We're in the cockpit with the pilots operating the airplane. We're moving the mission with them. And when something goes wrong, we're helping them to get it fixed. One of the biggest issues that a lot of folks have with adapting to the aircrew culture is when you're on the aircraft, there is no rank. It's just pilot, engineer, loadmaster. And you have to be able to perform and behave in a way that fits with that. And then uh, a lot of newer air crew members have trouble remembering when you're not on the plane anymore and you're back in the squadron, you know, the ranks turn back on and you have to uh, maintain a certain level of professionalism, especially when you're outside of your squadron. The level of studying in this career field, I would have to say is a bit higher than other career fields that I've been in. I usually study at least five to 10 hours a week. It's interspersed throughout my day. It's part of mission planning. It's a part of just being a flight engineer. You have to look over things and you may have to get more familiar with the system. If you have an issue with it at one time, then that encourages you to go back and really study that system and learn it. Dealing with unexpected challenges while operating an aircraft is what we're trained for. We're there to monitor the systems and make sure that everything's working perfectly. When we notice that something isn't working perfectly, then we are trained to address it. And it can be pretty difficult when you have fire, smoke, or fumes in your jet. It's a life-threatening situation that you have to handle immediately for the safety of the crew. Sometimes that's the exciting part because pilots are depending on your recommendation as a systems expert to come up with that solution. And sometimes it's scary because your predictions can make the difference between being safe or not making it home. Some of the physical challenges we face working in 130 degree heat to freezing weather, trying to get the job done. You have to be in good health, just like any other part of the Air Force. You have to be able to do your pre-flight inspection and most aircraft that have flight engineers on them are huge airplanes. You have to climb up and down and go through places that are a little bit tight and pull yourself up into places that are a little bit high. So it's important to be physically fit. The thing that satisfies me the most about being a flight engineer is being able to make a difference in what's going on in the world. Some of the highest amounts of job satisfaction I ever had was when you were able to bring troops, airmen, Marines, sailors, bring them home and bring them back to their families. When you fly home after completing a mission like that, you really feel like you made a difference and it makes you feel good about yourself. The plane's not gonna fly without a flight engineer. We are one of the most pivotal crew positions on the plane. And I love having that feeling of people relying on me to be successful at my job.